Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to City of Gangsters, where last time things went really very well indeed. We finally, at long last, produced some bottled beer, we hired two more people, we picked up some more corners, we upgraded our home brew and our cider operations, we picked up loads of junk and we killed a man to death. I mean when I say we, I mean Frowny Face. Frowny Face did the actual killing of this person, but it was in retaliation to an attack on Penge Cupboard, which we could not stand for at all. So yes, some gang member came down here, I think it was, and they broke Penge Cupboard's favourite teapot or something like that, so they were appropriately dealt with. Let's just say that they will not be causing any more trouble, and we shall leave it at that. So after all that going on, here we are with nine crew members, 27 corners, and $7,606. So it's all looking very, very good indeed. It's looking wonderful. So I think let's begin today by sorting this mission out. We picked this mission up last time, and it's fairly simple to do get 15 barrels, get five bricks, drop them off, get a nice reward for that. So I think Penge Cupboard can busy himself getting all that sorted and everybody else can just go about their business. They can just go and you know, drop off beer and drop off cider and pick up things and move everything around and just keep our sort of whole sort of outfit ticking over whilst Penge Cupboard goes and does a little bit of a little bit of a side mission. So where are you Penge Cupboard? I think you're over there. Yes, there you are. You're at Sheila's Corner. I mean, you know, you're not in the back room of Sheila's Corner, I wouldn't say. I think you're in the front bit of Sheila's Corner. You are having a lovely sandwich and a nice bit of pie with some tea, I imagine. So here we go. I think as well, Penge Cupboard is in. He's in a pickup, isn't he? He's not in a little car. He's in a pickup, I believe. So I think what we can do is let's actually get him to do all this right now. I was thinking we might not have enough room in the car, but I think we can get everything in one go, probably. Because, uh, yeah, we have got a fairly a fairly sizable vehicle right now. So, yeah, 15 small barrels and five lots of bricks. So, let's have a little look. So, bricks and, hang on a minute, barrels. Where are we? Small barrels. So, right, we can get all that from over here. It's only just down the road as well, which is brilliant. Actually, do we have any money? Yes, we have $433. Right, let's go down here. So prairie fireproof storage. Um, hello, can we buy some small barrels, please? Let's pick some up. Can we have, is it 15? I think it might have been 15 for the uh, for the mission there. So, okay, we'll buy those. So I think that's, yeah, that's 15 barrels. And then if we just pop over to here, we can go to consolidated bricklayers. Hello, can I have some you know, bricks? Because that's kind of what you do. I'll pick some up right now. Can we have five? Oh, it's, we can only pick up three. That's very unfortunate. So near, so near, but yet so far. Um, okay, right, and who gave us that quest? Down at Parkside Painters. Do you know what? Let's drop those things off now. Let's just get this done, shall we? Here we go. Right, so there we are. I have some of the things you're looking for. I've got all the barrels. There you go. Enjoy those. And do you know what? Whilst I'm here, I have some bricks. I've not got all the bricks, but I've got some of the bricks. Right, and then we'll just drive back up the road. Do we have enough action po uh, movement points for it? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We can get back there. Okay, grab some more bricks, pick up two more crates of bricks, and then drop those back off down here. And that will be that mission nice and sorted. Here we go. I've got some stuff. Here's some bricks. Okay, right. So what can we get for this? Here's what our friends in the neighborhood could help you with anything of interest. So we can have 80 crocks of hard cider, 120 crocks of homemade beer, or just a great big pile of cash, $600 in cash. I mean, the money's coming in okay. The money is coming in okay. So how about, how about, hang on, right, hang on a second. Let's take a look at what we've actually got in stock right now. So in the pub, we have, hang on a minute, let's press the right button. Uh, there is homemade beer, but there's no cider. So there is no cider in the pub. Um, in here we've got, what have we got? 101 crocks of beer in in Agnes's place. That's quite a lot of beer. I mean, that's quite the party going on. There's 62 crocs in there. And how much cider do we have in here? Hardly any hard cider at all. Okay, do you know what? We will take the cider and we will put it straight into the pub, I think. And then that can just be nice and stocked up and that can make us some lovely cash. Um, yeah, we'll have that, please. Hello, always happy to help friends. Um, yeah, let's have the hard cider, please. Okay, there we go. We've helped some people out. Right, and where do we want to put it? I think let's put it in Robert's Candies. Absolutely. So there we go. That should now have a great big pile of cider in it. Yes, very nice indeed. And that means we can sell that. So that's going to last us another eight turns. Another eight turns. That's quite good. Has this finished upgrading, actually? Yes, it has. Ah, right, yes. But we are short on Crocs. 
Okay, what we could do is we could just go and help ourselves to some crocs if this person has any. Yes, they do. They've got... Okay, maybe we don't take that many. Let's take 27 crocs and we'll drop them off over here. Drop them off at the cider place at Eduardo's variety shop. So pop those crocs in there. That means we should be able to get another cider run underway, which is marvellous. Oh, we need to do the expansions here as well. We need to get that done. Hang on, we finished these expansions, didn't we? Um, not available. Oh, I think we did. Hang on a minute. Let's drive up the road. This will end the turn. I think we did put three in there. Yeah. Okay, right, that's good. And yeah, the little sort of the box icons when you're sort of looking at the expansions, they tell you how good they are. So if it's one box, I think it's okay. You know, it's quite good. Three boxes means it's very good. So we need to be aware of that when we actually put the uh, put the upgrades in. But, um, oh, right, hang on. Yeah, so go to the next turn. Can't do anything right now. Much stuff has happened. We've bought some stuff. We've sold some stuff. Okay, good job, everybody. Good job. Right, so where are we? Penge, cupboard. Pop down to, pop down to here. So I imagine this place has got a big pile of money in it as well. $811. Right, plenty of cash in there. So let's get some expansions in here as well. So, yeah, they've all got one little, one little thing there. So, yeah, they're okay. They probably give us, what, 10% extra sort of production or whatever. So let's go... I mean, production tracking is very good. That's the expensive ledger book. That's $100. I think we get that in. That's nice and straightforward. Um, industrial filters is 800 and a steam sanitizer is 600. I think we get both of those in anyway because it increases the amount of stuff we're making. So yes, please, we'll have that. And then if we go and grab a big pile of money from... where Where is a big pile of money? Um, Agnes's has got almost four grand. I think we can... I think we can take some money from Agnes's place. Let's take over, say, that much money from Agnes's place. And then we will come back down to here, drop off that huge pile of money back over here. We'll keep a little bit for ourselves, of course. There we go. And then, finish loading, uh, go into here and get industrial filters. We'll take one of those, please. 106 up to... Ah, that just that reduces the amount of things we need. Okay, that's very good. That's very good. And I think we can, yeah, click on this expansion to remove it. So we can, if we want to, if we get better things in the future, sort of you know, get rid of these and put better things in their place. Okay, right. That is very good. That's good to know. So uh, I think now, now what we need to do is we have no missions. And yeah, you know, stuff is just ticking by. In fact, let's just move stuff by, shall we? Something has stalled over there. Is that a lack of crocs by any chance? Is it a lack of crocs? No. It looks like it's underway now. I assume that one of the delivery runs has just loaded that up with with crocs or whatever, syrup or something useful. Okay, that's fine. Do you know what we could do? There are 10 billy clubs in there that are taking up a little bit of room. What, we are 96% full down to 95% full. Okay, so not loads. There are some hops as well. Hang on. Can we take... We can take nine lots of hops. Just thought we might as well sort of try and free up the space in there as best we can. Um, yeah, let's grab that and we'll put the billy clubs into our little sort of junk room. And then we will go over to here and drop the hops off over at Sheila's place because they can actually use them to make the beer. Yeah, they're quite cumbersome, are the hops. They are very, very big. Um, we don't need a steel barrel in there, though, do we? I don't think. No, we don't need one of those. That's a little bit, that's a little bit pointless. Do you know where that can go? It can go straight back into the junk room. That's where it can go. Boom, into there with you. Okay, right. Good job. So, yes, I think now what we do is... Let's have a little look around and see if we can pick up any skills. Because there are quite a few people offering us some new skills. And we've got the money. And we've got the time. Because, you know, things are ticking over quite nicely. I mean, okay, some places are not working as efficiently as others. I mean, yeah, we haven't got the barley here. We haven't got the bottles. That place will sort itself out eventually. But I think, I think, while things are sort of, you know, in a, running in a vaguely automated way, if not perfectly, I think, let's have a look and see who would like to teach us some skills. So, learnable skills. Um, ah, speakeasies. Okay, that could be quite good. Old World Knowledge Cider. Ah, that could be one of the upgrades. That could be one of the upgrades. Okay, that probably is worth doing. Truck repair bays. There's probably quite a few of those. I imagine there's quite a few truck repair bays going on. We might as well learn the skill. Brick wine production. A few people have said about getting a new 
sort of base level booze underway. That could be quite interesting. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking right now, speakeasies are going to be very good. How about this? Annie Efimov, so from, from the Bricklayer place, let's go and have a word with you and see what you need. So, hello, new skills. Um, yeah, there we go. So, Cider, what do you need? And we'll use up a favor with you. So, you need $750. Okay, that seems, that seems reasonable. That seems absolutely fine. And then whilst we're here, learnable skills. So, Lee Novak is all the way over there. Not yet in our territory, but we could, we could get them on board. We could get them as a, as a front. They can't expand anywhere else, though. That's the only problem. They're going to be a bit of a rubbish front because they can't expand to anywhere else because that corner is ours and that one is ours and that's got some you know, troublemakers over there. Um, okay, maybe not you then. Uh, truck repair bays. Uh, that's Andrew Wilkinson. I think we quite like you. Hang on, no, just there. Yeah, we're okay with you. We're okay with you. However, however, um, yeah, I think maybe we could get our sort of opinion of each other up a little bit there. Um, do you have time for a quick chat? No, not right now. Uh, I want to learn new skill, thank you. Okay, so what do you need for that? 80, oh, that's annoying. <laughs> we just put 80 lots of hard cider in the pub. Um, okay, who else can tell us? Who else can tell us about... Um, about whatever that was. What skill was it again? Truck repair bays. Who else can tell us about that? There must be somebody else. Um, Billy. Billy down there at the truck garage. Okay, what would you like, Billy? Would you like a big pile of cash? Because that would be significantly easier. What will it take? 120 homemade beer. Do you know what? We might be able to do that. There's a load of beer sat in there right now. Um... Yeah, go on. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we'll do that one then. That'll be fine. Um, and then, yes, what about other skills then? Um, right, the list has come right down. It's all just speaking easy. What have we got? What was that? Ethnic solidarity. Take advantage of a shared background with a friend to get a variety of benefits from your fellow immigrants. Acquiring this skill allows you to expand some of your operations where you produce booze. Oh, that sounds very good. Oh, I like the sound of that. Hang on, where are you? Um, yeah, your Wilkinson's car sales. Oh, yes, absolutely. Right, we'll come back this way. Hello, how are you? Um, and, right, I'm in a hurry. New skills. Yeah, this sounds good. Ethnic solidarity sounds very good. What do you need? Quite a lot of money up front, but okay. Yeah, that's fine. We can do that. There we go. Look, just skills. Just skills. And that's the wrong button. How about we press the correct button? That helps a bit. And then we've got speaking easy, speaking easy, and brick wine production. Um, okay. Ricardo Rossi is in Plaza Lanes. We're right next to you. So hang on a second. Uh, oh, we haven't got any action points. Hang on. Next turn. Yep, there we go. Stuff happened. Ooh. Um, ah, Serious Susan has leveled up. Oh, this is very good. Um, decrease the amount of time needed or production manager up to level two. Let's get production manager up to level two. I like the idea of that. Just become better at doing your know, general production stuff. Right, and then, uh, where are we? Uh, we are, hang on, we want to go over there, don't we? We want to talk to you at Plaza Lanes. Hang on. Um, I'm looking to learn new skills. Speaking easy. It sounds useful. What do you need? Ten lots of furniture. Not this again. <laughs> you want to redecorate your house. So because of that, you are you know, want to, us to bring you furniture and then you're going to give us a skill. Okay, fine. And $1,500, my goodness. Yeah, all right, fine. We'll just queue up all these skill things. And then I think there will be only one left. I think Harry Roth has got brick wine production. Do you know what? We might as well just learn the skill. Let's just get it done. There you go. Um, hang on a second. New skills. What do you need? 18 grape concentrate. That sounds absolutely fine. Right, okay, so... Five new skills on the way. And now if we look at learnable skills, nothing. Nobody can teach us anything. But we have got this little list of things up here. So, um, okay, that looks like the most straightforward. Just bring a big pile of money. So I think we can probably work through that. So let's pop over to Agnes's place, which does seem to have quite a bit of money in. Let's just take out, um, I don't know, leave $235 in there. That should be fine. There we go. Right, and then grab us. Go back to... Oh, where was it again? Hang on. <laughs> Which one was it? It was the bricklaying place. Okay, so let's get this one done first. So, hello, I've got this big pile of cash. 
Hooray, we've got a new knowledgey skill thing. Old world knowledge cider. Okay, so what does that mean? There we go. So we've helped somebody out. And what does that mean then? So use your English associate's knowledge of cider making from the old country to improve your cider production skill. So we can expand our cider production operations. Everyone in the crew now benefits. Okay, so we'll have to see what exactly that does. Um, however, can we start working on some of these other ones? I mean, that one there should be very easy. Bring 18 grape concentrates. Surely that must be fairly straightforward or not. Or not. Okay, right. Nowhere seems to sell grape concentrate in this entire big area that we found. Re really? Not all the way down there? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's me going, oh, this will be very easy. Look at this. Oh, just bring 18 grape concentrate. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, right. So we can't do that mission then because that is currently completely impossible. Nowhere. Nowhere sells grape concentrate at all. Right, okay. So even if we were to somehow find a place that would sell us grape concentrate, it's not going to be anywhere near us. So having that skill is going to be largely useless. Oh, good. Okay, well, there we go. I'm glad we invested some time and effort into that one then. Um, how about ethnic solidarity? That sounds like a good thing, Tao. So, okay, I've got some of the stuff you want. Um, hang on. Have we got 1,200 in cash? Yes, we have. We've got 1,229. Do you know what? Yeah, absolutely. Have that. Let's get a new skill. Ethnic solidarity. His opinion of us has gone up absolutely loads. That's very good. And uh, right, what does this get us then? So he just says we can expand some of our operations where we produce booze. Now, what does that mean? What does that mean? Let's go and have a look at the cider place. Let's pop down to here. So, okay. So we are looking at... Hang on, there we go, the cider place. Uh, click on this expansion to remove it. Ah, right, I see. We might have to remove something to take a look at what there possibly might be. But, you know, if we get rid of it, what other new things have appeared? Um, I mean, this one we're looking at here was the $100 one, wasn't it? Oh, this is terrible. Can we not just look at a list without having to remove things? Click on this expansion to remove it. That was only $100, wasn't it? That was the ledger book thing. Um, okay, fine, yes, we'll look at that, we'll get rid of that. Um, and there we go, right, ethnic solidarity. You can take advantage of ethnic ties to reduce the amount of material you need for each production cycle. <gasps> that sounds amazing. Okay, so 12 of those and 58 of those, so 12 actually in your apple juices and 58 crocs, what does that come down to? That's very good. I see the little icons are helping, right, okay. Okay, the little icons are being vaguely helpful. If there's a blue box with an upward arrow, that means that we produce more stuff. And the more little blue box sort of crate things there are, that means that we make more stuff. So, you know, one with three boxes is going to produce more than one. And then this one here with the... I can't quite see what colour that is, but that colour box there with the arrows pointing downwards, that means that reduces the amount of material that we need to actually make some stuff. Yeah, okay, I'm all for this. Let's get this done. So 12 and 58, 10 and 47. That's, what's that? Hang on, 47 to 58, math with pen. That is 11 less crocs every four turns. That's huge. That is very, very good indeed. Oh my goodness me. And then, yeah, we could get the whole other thing as well. There was like an English cider making approach or something. I like that. I think we might need to get rid of one of these. Boost production yield, improves booze yield. I mean, they're both the same thing. Um, one of them was more expensive. Oh, which one was more expensive? I think the filters were more expensive. So we might get rid of the steam sanitizer. How much money is in there? Not that much right now. Um, okay, right, hang on. Go and grab some money from Agnes's place. We shouldn't really have put the other money in, should we? Um, Agnes's place doesn't have much money in at the moment. <laughs> Who's got all the money? Um, Dale. Dale seems to have the money at the moment. Uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll move time on. I'm sure he'll come back at some point. There you go. Agnes's place has got a big pile of money in. That's all fine. Let's take some money from here. Um, oh, no. Hang on. Hang on. No, that's not us. That's why. Where are we? We're there. So if we drive up here, did I move somebody else? I might have moved somebody else then. Never mind. <laughs> I'm sure it's all fine. Right. Hang on. Grab a big pile of money. There we go. 
and then come back down here, Penge Cupboard. Right, and go to here and go to Expansions. Right, let's get rid... I really can't remember. I can't remember which one of these was the most expensive. I think it was the filters. Let's get rid of the steam sanitizer. Get rid of... Get rid of that. It's gone. It's gone. And let's put in English cider presses. So this could be quite good. So 700 money. Um, oh, hang on. I've not put the money into the thing. Hang on a minute. Let's just load that up with some money. There we go. Loads of money now. So at the moment, it uses 10 apple juice, 47 crocs to make 88 of the hard cider. If we install this, up to 110. Wow. English cider presses plus 25% production. Okay, yep, that's well worth doing. That is very good. Okay, good stuff. So we have spent a bit of money now. Spent a little bit of the monies. Um, we can't do that one. Is it worth sort of you know, dropping off bits of money? Let's go and try and get some furniture. Let's go and try and get some furniture because this was really successful last time. <laughs> this went really well. This went so smoothly last time. So here we go. We're back at the 8th Southern Oriental Rug Shop to pick up some lovely, you know, wing-back armchairs and what have you. What do you buy or, what do you buy or sell here? Oh, I don't know. What could they possibly sell in a rug shop? Um, okay, I'd like to buy furniture. You've got nine crates of it. Well, of course you have. It costs 225. We've got 229. Okay, that's, that's weirdly, weirdly perfect. Okay, I don't think we can get back to here. In fact, who wanted this? Uh, yeah, we can't quite get there. We can get down here. Do you know what? We can get to the pub. That will do the job just fine. So down you come and we'll just skip to the next turn. We'll go straight away. Okay, something's stored. I'm sure they'll work it out. Right, so then over to here. Drop that off at Plaza Lanes. So there we go. So there's nine crates. Okay, and you know what? You want a load of money as well. You can have four dollars. <laughs> it's a little advance there. So yeah, now we just need another... 1,496. Math with pen. Did it in my head. Okay, we're making some money. And Ronald. Ronald has leveled up. Oh, well done, Ron. Yeah, so Ron is driving about the place doing all the stuff for the beers, for the bottled beer. Um, okay, so what do we do here with you, Ron? Uh, action points, movement points, not fighting. We don't need you to be fighty, Ron. Um, we don't need to have reduced heat because we're bribing the police, so we don't care about that. Businesses like dealing with them. That could be quite good. That could be quite good. However, I think, because he has to cover quite a lot of distance, I think we need to get movement points and action points up. So let's get, I mean, let's get action points up first. So I think now you've got, you've got no action points at the moment, but I think you've gone from three up to four. So that's quite good. So you can deal with four different interactions in one turn now. And then if we get your movement points up next time, that means you can do your routes quicker, which means in theory, you should be able to get back and you know, do more stuff. And we should make more beer. But the problem is, of course, the ingredients we're using to make the beer. OK, right. Hang on a minute. So now where is Penge? Cupboard? No, that's frowny face. We are here. Is it worth it? Oh, do you know what we do need to do? We need to go and pick up some cash because we need to do that. Just take $200 with us. That's absolutely fine. Uh, right. Furniture. Can we go and get some furniture? Do you have any over here? I'm imagining not. I'm imagining it's a little bit too soon. We bought all your armchairs and your rugs and your cupboards. Have you got one piece of furniture? Just, you know, bedside table or anything. Just anything will do. No. Okay, do you know what? We'll just skip to the next turn. We shall let many things happen. Look at that. Loads of stuff happening. What do you buy or sell? Furniture. Let's pick some up. No. Do you know what? I'm okay with time passing by. I'm okay with everything just ticking by right now. It's all absolutely fine. Hello, can I please buy some furniture? Still no furniture, okay. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, okay, move time on. I'm still fine with time ticking on. I think a month has gone by and we've camped outside the furniture shop. Still no furniture. Okay, let's take a trip down here. Let's go to, uh, is it there? No, it's in the middle here, isn't it? It is, uh, hang on, have we ran our movement points? Uh, no, down here. There we go. Um, right, let's have a chat. Oh, they don't want to talk to us today because <laughs> they, they really hate us. I forgot about that. Um, okay, let's go back up here then. Hello, 8th Southern Oriental Rugs. Have you got anything? I can't remember if I checked already. I just put my head around. Anything come in? Nope, not a thing. Okay, next time. Look at the money's just <laughs> slowly ticking up. Everyone's going, have you seen Penge Cupboard anywhere? 
No, I don't know where he is. Last I heard, he was just outside a furniture shop, willing them to have some sort of cabinet available. But, um, but no, we just, this is very silly, isn't it? We just keep moving time on until we can pick up one chair. Um, okay, come on. This, this is the time. Now is that, now is not the time. That wasn't the time. Um, okay. I mean, this is a bit silly, isn't it? This shop, right, come on. This time. I'm convinced this is it. Oh, we've got all sorts of problems. A lack of space. Oh, Okay, Agnes's. Okay, we might need to possibly go and look at that. Hang on a minute. Please tell me you've got just a chair or something. Oh, thank goodness. Right, there we go. <laughs> we'll buy that chair. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Right, back down here we go. Drop that off over at Plaza Lanes when we get there. Bit slow. Bit slow, this truck. There we go. Right, so Plaza Lanes. Hello. I've got a piece of furniture with me. That's lovely. Right, can we give him his money as well? Yeah, Agnes's place has got loads of money. So this means we can get this, this mission quest skill thing all sorted. So we just grab a big pile of money. Very welcome indeed. Hang on a minute. That's us. Back we go. And hello there, my good sir. Got a load of stuff. Oh, hang on. What? How much does he need? Oh, he needs another 200 and something. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was everything. I thought we had it all. Right, sorry. I misunderstood. Failed with numbers there. Let's just take $500. That'll do the job. Right, come back over there again. <laughs> this is ah, this is all a bit of a shambles, isn't it? This is why I'm not a you know, a real gangster because it, it'd be awful. Right, okay. Hello, I've got two hundred twenty-one dollars. Please give me that skill. That is wonderful. Okay, so we can now set up a proper speakeasy. Right, we've got some apple juice, speakeasy. Right, okay, so we can do that upgrade. I imagine that's going to be very, very resource intensive and very complicated. Um, okay. How about we look at this now then? Hang on, what's going on over here? Why is this place struggling? Um, there's a lot of crocs in there, and a lot of hops, and a lot of malt syrup. Uh, but it's 99% full. Oh, crikey, hang on. We need to move some hops out of there. Look at that, 11 hops fills that vehicle. Yeah, we need to do a bit of a, um, we need to do a little bit of a hops run. I think we will just drop off some hops up here and hope that they have enough resources to actually use the hops. Although we are filling that place up with hops now. <laughs> um, right. Okay. This is this is this is not not going overly straightforward. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Let's see what we can do. Can we get back down here? They should be able to make some more beer. Have they made beer? Because you were stuck on your run. Yeah, you're going to make 151 units of beer. Oh my goodness. I mean, is it worth? Is it worth over here? Have they got a load of money? Yes. Is it worth getting rid of the production tracking thing and then reducing the amount of resources they need to make some stuff? That won't help with the storage issues, but it will help just, you know, reduce the demands on malt syrup and stoneware crocs. Let's get rid of that. That's the ledger. And then we shall have ethnic solidarity. 750 of your monies. So 14 and 70 down to 12 and 56. 14 less crocs per run. That is brilliant. Okay, right, so they are now upgraded very nicely. The only thing is, yeah, that's still <laughs> it's still very full. <laughs> what can we do with this? Um, hang on a second, hang on. 56 crocs and 12 of that. Yeah, there's quite a lot of malt syrup in there, isn't there? There's a lot of malt syrup. I mean, do we need to buy so much of it anymore? Can we not put that into... Just put some of that into storage as well. Can we put take 10 of that and then the rest of hops? Just take some of this out. Just relieve the pressure a little bit on there because they're never going to be able to make anything otherwise. And just load that into the junk room. Sorry, junk room. Okay, so the good news is that on the next production run of the home brew place, they were able to actually get it done. And look, they've just managed to fit 138 lovely crocs of beer into here. It's 99% full. So I think what we'll do is we shall help ourselves to, we'll help ourselves to some of those, so 89 of those, because we need some for our repair bait mission. Oh, hang on. Dale, Dale has leveled up. Dale, you can become a captain, Dale. Captain Dale, arise, my good sir. Okay, that's wonderful. Right, where are the truck repair bays? Right, Rossi's truck garage. Fortunately, it's only just here. It's nice and nearby. So here you go, I've got... 89 crocs of the beer. So now we need, hang on, what's that? Uh, 890, so 31 more crocs. 
and that should do the job very nicely. Okay, so do that. Grab 31 more of those, so 10, 20, 30, and one. Doesn't leave much left for the next run, but never mind, never mind. It will have to do the job right, and down we go. Pop that into there. Hello, I've got some stuff. Truck repair bays. Okay, uh, opinion goes up a little bit because it was a bit low with him. And there we go. Okay, so now we've got a new skill. This is all very handy. So now, yes, we can build a truck repair bay in one of our controlled buildings. We do have that building that's not doing anything else. I'm partly sort of tempted to turn that into an actual storage room because that's what we're using it for now. So that just massively increases the storage options. I imagine we fit it with shelves and, you know, cupboards and wardrobes and things. Um, okay, right, this is all good. So now we only have the one mission outstanding. Do we have any more learnable skills? No. So that's it. We've learnt all of the skills available, except the one which requires the, uh, <laughs> the magic thing that we can't get our hands on. Has anybody happened across some uh, grape concentrate at any point? I don't think anybody has. Nope. Oh no, over there, <laughs> in our enemy's territory, there's some. Uh, there's the option to get some grape concentrate. That's the one place we know of on the entirety of the map that we know of so far. Brilliant. Um, yeah, okay, I don't think we'll be going there anytime soon. So it looks like we might be stuck with that mission up there for quite some time. Oh, look at this. This is very interesting indeed. So there's a little shop over here. So all Zevskis. I've said that all sorts of wrong. I do apologize. That little shop there, they sell small bottles and we are struggling for small bottles. Now that's quite far away. That's not going to ever form part of a delivery route of any kind because it's really, really out the way. But Penge Cupboard could just drive down there in his pickup and go and pick up a load of bottles and bring them back up here to get our beer operation going, the bottled beer thing over at Sheila's place. Because Penge Cupboard isn't really doing anything else. He's just sort of you know, mooching around the place. So why don't we come down here and do that? We've got 279 money. We might just want to stop by a place, just pick up a bit more money, because I'm not entirely sure how much the bottles are. But yeah, I think we keep draining the bottles over at Nelly's place. So if we can just pick up a massive load of them, that's going to be really handy. Let's go to the right place. Um, oh, there's loads of money in there. Yeah, that's it. Just take 679. That should be absolutely fine. Right, so let's head over to wherever it was hang on where was it um can't remember where it was where, where was it hang on it was over it was over here somewhere it was one of these places uh, there was that service center it was the service center so if we try and ah right we might we might need to come back next turn to do this because it is quite the drive away um okay right hang on a minute go to the next turn there we go some cider has been produced we didn't buy any apple juice which is probably quite good because i imagine we have a lot and here comes Penge Cupboard in his little truck. Right, okay. Hello there. Right, so you are willing to sell to us, I imagine. Right, this is good. Okay, I'd like to buy bottles, please. Uh, you're not going to give me a discount. That's probably fine. Right, 40. We'll take 40. 120 monies. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business with you. Let's go and uncover some of these, shall we? We've got four action points. So boop, boop, boop. Uh, flowers, coffee shop, tinsmiths. And if we go to there, ah, I wanted to uncover that there, but never mind. Right, we've got, oh no, we can move around a bit more. There we go, uncover that as well whilst we're down here. We might as well, oh, a newsstand. I don't think we've happened across one of those before. Um, okay, they're not willing to talk to us. Oh no, got no action points, that's why. Hang on, what do you sell? Not much. Okay, right, so he's not overly fond of us right now. Do you know what, fair enough, that's absolutely fine. Right, let's go and drop these bottles back up here. Oh my goodness me. Penge Cupboard, because we've improved his movement points so much, can actually get up there in one go. That's very impressive. I mean, it takes a while. The vehicle we've got is a little bit slow, but we're going to get there in the end. Okay, right. Drop off. Ah, this item will not fit. It's 100% full of... of... oh no. <laughs> um, right, okay, we're going to have to play item Tetris here. Right, can we take some bottles? Yes, we can. Right, so currently 98% full. This is very silly. Right, go down to here. We're going to need to remove some of the hops and stuff, aren't we? Um, right, hang on. All the bottles go into there. This is, <laughs> this is so silly. Right, and then go over here. And can we take, can we take some of the barley and some of the hops? We can take hardly anything before our vehicle is full. Oh, dear me. Um, okay, finish loading. How much do they need? 10 hops and 15 barley. 
Um, yeah, there's quite a lot of hops and barley in there. Maybe, maybe we need to adjust the adjust the route, adjust uh, just Ronald's kind of orders to make sure he doesn't buy quite so much stuff. <laughs> I think maybe that might be the problem. Okay, and then we drop that into there. Then can we pick up all the bottles? Here we go. Right, have all them back. Thank you very much. And in they go into there. And there we go, 99% full, but I think we can actually start making some stuff. So they're going to use bottles, they're going to use barley, and they're going to use hops. Okay, right, this is good. Finish that load. <laughs> oh dear. Right, Ronald, Ronald, hang on. We need to adjust this a little bit. Don't buy as much barley as possible. Buy um, until, oh, I want to do until in storage. I want to say until we've got enough that we've got 10 in there or something, but... That's not going to work, is it? That's not going to work. Okay. Buy until the vehicle has two sacks. Okay, right. Change that. Buy barley as much as possible. Buy... Yeah, I mean, that could be just filling up, couldn't it? That could be filling up. Buy until you've got two sacks in there again. So you're not going to buy any more. Right, that's probably going to go wrong as well. Pick up hops. Pick up all the stuff. Right. Okay. Let's see if that helps. It probably won't help, but we'll see if it does. Apparently, Wilma here knows somebody that we might be interested in. Either they're buying what we've got or they are selling what we need. Please say it's bottles. That'd be handy. Um, yeah, okay. So, well, yes, your friend Lester. Okay, ah, they're oh, ah, that's unfortunate. They are in the territory of Wanda, uh, Keller's crew. Okay, a bit confusing. So, Wanda Frank is part of Keller's crew. Okay, so, yeah, they're over there. Um... He buys hard cider. Uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. We'll accept that. So there we go. Thank you very much. Have we got any more of those? Yes, you up there as well. You also have one of those little, oh, we're going to help you out kind of things. Three favours with you. Okay, that's good. Um, anyone buying or selling? You should meet my friend Thomas. Okay. Thomas is a little bit remote. He's a little bit out of the way over there. Um, he's also interested in hard cider. Do you know, we've got three favours with you, absolutely. We'll just uncover that bit of the map, why not? There we go. Any of those other icons, because they are quite useful. Oh, right down here. You. That's Dorothy. Yeah, Dorothy's place. So, hello, Dorothy. How are you? We've got favours with you. Hang on a second. Um, okay, buying or selling. Cousin Ksenia. Okay. Ksenia is over there. Okay, we've been there before. Uh, that's hard cider. Okay, again, this is all good. This is all good to know, but I want people that can sell us bottles and stuff. That will be more useful. And Ron has leveled up again. Good job, Ron. This is very good. Okay, so last time we gave him action points, and so now let's give him movement points. So he can move about more, and he can do more on his turn. So we're just improving him and making him a better delivery person. So yeah, that seems perfect. So well done. I imagine it must be level three when he gets his nickname meant, when they get their fancy nickname. But okay, well done, Ron. Good job. And I believe the bottled beer place has actually just made some bottled beer at long last. Let's have a quick nosy in with, uh, with frowny face. Um, yes, finally, 60 cases of backroom beer and the barley and the hops have kind of gone down. The bottles have gone down. There is still quite a lot of barley and hops. It'd be good if we could get some more bottles, wouldn't it? That'd be really handy. Hang on a minute, hang on. Penge cupboard. Whereabouts are you? I can't remember where you are. Um, you are over there at the moment. And um, what are you doing? You've got a big pile of money. Nothing much else going on. Can you come back here and just see if this chappy has any more bottles for sale? Because that would be very, very useful. Okay, 20 bottles, which is not too bad. That's okay. That's better than nothing. So yeah, we'll take the 20 bottles, please. I think that only gets us up to 40, though, in the actual place. So we do need to get some more from somewhere. I don't quite know where. That's the only problem. I mean, maybe... Maybe we need to have a bit of an explore around. I do want, Joe. You know what, whilst we're here, hang on. Now, what we'll do is, let's drop that stuff back off up there first. There's a little bit of stuff over here that we haven't really looked at. And we never did go over the bridge to the completely pointless thing just here. Oh, there's some statues. Oh, look at that. There's some statues and a little playground. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we never did go there to explore this completely pointless kind of location. So maybe we should... Go and have a look over there. Um, right, hang on a minute. So drop some bottles in. Yeah, it's only 40 bottles. That's not very good at all, is it? Um, okay, never mind. Never mind. We can't do too much about that. Right, so yeah, let's go and have an explore over here then. Oh, we can't get down there. Of course we can't. <laughs> we keep driving some good distances. 
Okay, right, hang on. Go to the next turn. This is all fine. Oh, whose vehicle's falling apart? Uh, oh, it's frowny face. That's fine. That vehicle lasts for ages. It's a good, it's a sturdy thing. Yeah, so let's go to there, look. Because we've never been here before. So go across that lovely bridge. I don't quite know why there's two bridges on that same bit of road. Seems excessive, but okie doke. Right, so nothing on that corner. And down here. Have we got your ye olde bottle shop or anything? A bowling alley and a junkyard. Okay. Um, ah, right. We can't go anywhere right now. Okay, go to the next turn. We're going to get our um, sort of end of year report type thing soon. That's quite exciting. Right, let's go to there then. So let's go to this mysterious thing. Hooray. I'm glad this is a thing in the game. Do you know what? It's fun. We'll go and make a snowman or something. There we go. <laughs> right, well, there we go. That was a waste of time. Right, I'm back over here. Right, there's loads of things here. Okay, so scope that out. So what is that over there? They fix vehicles. Okay, right. Not going to sell us bottles, are they? Um, anything over here revealed that somebody might sp uh, sell bottles? Nope. Absolutely not yet. Okay, let's go across to here and uncover that. That's a tea shop. Hello. Um, right, cigarettes. And then down here we go. And that's a little sort of thrift store thing. And that's a cafe. Cafe, cigarettes, thrift store. Ah, oh, it's big bottles. It's not little bottles. It's it's regular bottles. Oh, my hopes got so high and then they were dashed. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, let's just keep going down here then. Have we got an action point left? Yes, we have. Don't spell We haven't now. Hang on. Right, here we go. So end of the year. Hello, everyone. Right, happy new year. Oh, we need to go and pay the cops at some point. Okay, let's take a look at how we've done this time round. So we've got two legacy goals met. So we've got, ah, we've got this one done. The highest net worth. So we're back on that one again. Um, we've not got the corners controlled. 6%, we need 30. My goodness. Um, we will get this. By the end of it, we will get this done. We shall have seven people up at captain level. So that's another one that we will get, I'm pretty sure. Um, collector of favours. Okay, that's good. Railroads and the freight thing. You've not got that sorted. So this one here, distributor to the people. We're only in third with that one. So that is how much we're selling in bootleggers and speakeasies. So that's how much we're selling to the people and they're just drinking it right there and then. So we're third with that one. So if we opened up another bootlegging place, another little sort of, you know, the little pub, that would probably get us up to number one. That could be quite good. Supplier to the stars. We need to work on this. We need to work on this. But yes, it seems that we don't know the alcohols, you know, the fancy alcohols that the hotel is interested in. So you know, we're selling stuff like hard cider and home brew and little bottled beer. The hotel, because it's a fancy hotel, it's a ritzy downtown hotel indeed, they're not going to be interested in that kind of, you know, basic muck that we're selling. They want really fancy stuff. So they're going to want some very fine, fine alcohol type thing. So I don't think we can do that one quite yet. And okay, 25% of the outfits have gone. So we need to double that up to 50. We might be able to do that, you know. We are quite good at going to do the fighting. Um, hooligans, we've neutralized 38% up to 50. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that as well. And we have two outfits with vendettas against us. We need zero, so we're never, ever going to get that done. Okay, so things are looking good. It's looking okay. We've got an awful lot of stuff. It would be nice if we could sell some of this stuff. Like, you know, 14 billy clubs. Can we go and sell those? Because I don't need 14 billy clubs. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a lot of billy clubs. Five crowbars. We've got a lot of stuff that we just don't need be nice if we could just get rid of some of that stuff but okay never mind we can't do that right so we need to go and pay ah right officer evelyn we need to go and say hello to her at some point and um hang on a minute hang on hang on crocs and side and all that good stuff right norman has gained experience okay so norman what can we do with you um let's get your i don't know movement points up. in fact no norman norman is norman is fighty so he's very good doing his his work with the fronts but really, Norman is our combat specialist. He's the one who goes and does a bit of fighting. Um, do you know what, Norman? Become a bit better at fighting. There you go. We can rely on you if there's a little bit of a scrap going on. Right, and then Penge. Cupboard, where are you? You were over here somewhere, weren't you? Right, pop over here. Let's just hope that one of these places sells some bottles. Please sell bottles. Uh, cigarettes? Nope, we're not selling those. And... Crowbar pipes and sheet metal. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Right, how much money have we got on us? 499. Can we get up to Officer Evelyn? Yes, we can. Wonderful. Okay, drive, Penge Cupboard, drive. 
all this way across the big bridge over to here. And hello, Officer Evelyn. How are you this fine day? Um, suggest. Again, it says bribe. It's not a bribe. It's a lovely donation. She's, she's eagerly awaiting it. Um, okay. Uh, 349. There you go. Right there. Boom. Sorted. That's all very nice indeed. Thank you for making this precinct safer. I hope my modest donation helps. Of course it does. Okay, there we go. So now we have got ourselves another, you know, not another police officer, the same police officer, but back on the books, which is always very helpful. Okay, frowny face, I've got an idea for you. So I think you've helped out the fronts. There's a few that need some cash pickup, but that's fine. So I think all the fronts that need assistance, you have helped out. So they're not going to, you know, come into any issues whilst we're driving you about the place and taking you away from your regular operations. So, uh, and you know what, if something does happen, Penge Cupboard can step in, can't he? Because he's not doing anything at all. He just sat around in the snow drinking tea. So, right, first things first, frowny face, pop over to here. And we need to get your vehicle repaired. So, you fix vehicles. Yep, it's beat up. 56. Okay, wonderful. So, your vehicle is back up and running. Right, frowny face, you have got, in fact, you've got a number of weapons on you. I don't think you need three weapons on you, frowny face. Can we pop them into the storage room? For a moment that would be <laughs> that would be good wouldn't it you don't need a billy club and you don't need a pocket pistol hang on you've got a pocket pistol oh okay i don't quite know where i've got a second pocket pistol from i don't remember picking that up okay i think frowny face come down here and have a word with eileen down here because i don't think she is oh no she is compliant oh no okay right hi eileen we just came down to say hi hey <laughs> how are you um yeah which ones of these right they're compliant are they compliant as well? I imagine they are. Yeah, so stance details, they're compliant. Oh, okay. I was going to go around and try and sort of ruffle some feathers and basically say, right, don't mess with us, please. Do you know what? That's fine. We'll we'll go up the other way. Kind of made a slight tactical directional boo-boo there. Didn't have a sat nav on. He put the wrong address in. Right, hang on. Okay, so yeah, that's all fine. Right, can we get up to here? Say, so, yes, we can. Okay, so we can go and speak to Lois. Um, Lois St Steen, Stein, whatever that is. Um, so yeah, go and say hello to her. So hello, and right, um, I'd like you to stop harassing people. They're too afraid to do deals. Yeah, let's do that. What are you going to do? So we'll threaten, because yeah, he loves a bit of this. He loves a bit of that. What are you going to do? You look like you mean business. Fine, I don't want any trouble. So they are now stepping back. They are compliant, and that's what we need to get one of those goals. That's what we need to do to get one of those end-of-year goal things. Basically, tell all these people to stop being idiots. Right, okay. Frowny face. Go over here. Oh, hang on. Go to go to there. Have a nice have a nice breakfast or whatever. Have something at the sandwich counter. Right, hang on a second. Ooh. Ooh. There's something there. There's something just there. We can go pick that up. Hang on a second. That's very interesting. Hang on. What's going on over here? Uncover that. Okay. And then Sanders and the crew have been scared off. Okay, can we have their stuff? 39 billy clubs, okay. <laughs> we might have to just get rid of a lot of this stuff. We can junk all this stuff. Right, and then let's go and have a word with you, Edwin. Okay, right, stop harassing people, threaten you, and there you go. You look like you mean business. You're sensible, Edwin. You're sensible. You've realised that you know, things would have gone badly for you, and you've decided to do the right thing. Okay, so they're all now compliant. What about over here, actually? Did we check you? Yes. So they're compliant, they're compliant, they're compliant, he's compliant. That's going to vanish. Down here, they're compliant. Is there anybody else around? Uh, yeah, we just went over there, didn't we? And they're compliant. Okay, right, so that's pretty good. How about then we go down here? There's some more of them that have disappeared. Okay, can we get down there? I don't imagine we can. Um, hang on, how far can we get? We can get to just that. I'm a little bit concerned about the fronts. Um... Okay, right, he can head down there, and Penge Cupboard, you can go back to your old job for a bit. You can go and help out the fronts. Just, uh, just you know, drive around the place, go and speak to your old buddies. You haven't spoken to them in, you know, a year or so, doing this sort of, you know, the front route. And just, you know, go and help out the fronts a bit. Okay, so Penge Cupboard has gone around and helped out the fronts, just like old times. Do you know what? I prefer it when somebody else does that, because it does take quite a long time. There's quite a lot of clicking involved. Right, and we're here next to Myrtle. So we've come over, we've crossed the river on the fancy bridge. So we're next to Myrtle. So hello, Myrtle. Um, okay, stop harassing the businesses. We're going to threaten you. And again, you have seen the light, Myrtle. You've done the right thing and you are going to stop harassing businesses. And yes, you are now complying to our demands. And also, there is a, um, there's a safe house there. 
So let's have a look in the safe house. $160 just sitting there in the safe house. Also, we'll uncover that and we'll uncover that. Please tell us that you're selling useful things. Oh, you're not going to say anything because there's a gang of people around. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Right. That is very good, Frowny Face. You have done a very, very good, very thorough job. I think at the end of next year, that might actually tick off one of the boxes. That might tick off one of the sort of gang box things that we've got going on there. So that might be another victory condition under our belt, which is very good, if that proves to be the case. Oh, hang on a minute. We've just met Otto and the crew. Okay, whereabouts are you, Otto, and where is your crew? Um, okay, hang on. Frowny face, you were going to go back and start doing your job again, but we'll pop over here. Uh, who's that? That's Officer Gerald. Okay, we, we like him. Officer Gerald is fine. We're cool with Officer Gerald. Okay, hello, uh, Maria Otto. Stop troubling people. I'm going to threaten you. And she said yes. Okay, so that's another, another little gang there that's become compliant to us. So hopefully that should get us over the line with our sort of, yes, end of year goals. Right, how much movement have you got? Can you go anywhere? You can get back to over there. That's probably fine. If we go to the next turn, I imagine we can switch your sort of corner assistance thing back on. Let's get you a bit further over, actually. Come on, let's get you over to wherever. Get you over to... Oh, hang on. That went a bit weird. Get you over to there, and then we'll switch your corner assistance thing back on. And then you could go and help people out again. Hooray! Oh, well, this is very interesting. The Diamond Outfit have been raided by the Prohibition Bureau. Okay, that's interesting. That wasn't anything to do with us. We did not ask for that to happen. So the other outfits are kind of, you know, battling between each other, which is quite nice. That's good. That's a good thing, as it should be. Um, okay, right, that's very good. Right, Officer Gerald, hello. Oh, look, are you buying some furniture, Officer Gerald? They never have any in here. <laughs> they never have any. You'll be waiting a while. Um, hello, suggest a uh, lovely donation payment, of course. Um, yeah, I understand. 493 monies. Well, I bought a great big pile of it, so that's all fine. Oh, hang on, go through all that again. Yep, um, there you go, 493. There you go. Thank you very much. Officer Gerald, you are back on the books. Lovely stuff. Do you know what? We haven't really picked up any missions recently. We got those skill missions and we did most of those, the ones that were possible, but we've not got any regular missions. So Irina here from this place just there, that's one of our fronts, I believe. She is asking for a bit of help. So do you know what? Yeah, okay, I'm listening. Okay, so ideas how you might be able to help. Okie doke. Um, local businesses around here seem to be a bit lax with their car and truck keys. I have some associates who could look into things if they had some tools. Do you know what? That will get us another vehicle. And I am okay with that, because we could do with another large vehicle. We could do with another cargo vehicle. So, um, yeah, okay, I am absolutely fine with that. I mean, we've got crowbars. I'm pretty sure we have some crowbars. So that's not so bad. Oh, do you know what? How's the front do? We'll help you out. There you go. I have $30. Okay, so that's one thing picked up. Does anybody else want to talk to us? Oh, Nelly's place. We could really do with a mission that gives us another building. That would be handy. Um, okay, let's go and have a look in here. Hello, Nelly. How are you? Um, swimming in hard cider with a lot laying around. I don't necessarily think we are, Nelly. I think we've got loads of the uh, loads of the cider lying around. Okay, let's not talk to you, Dorothy. Um, okay, what about this? Okay, the delivery driver is saying we're swimming in hard cider. I don't really think we are. I don't, we've, we've not got much of that at all, if we're being completely honest. Okay, um, okay, Herman, I'm listening. Right. Okay. Basically, the quest. Somebody wants to give us a quest to deliver some hard cider. Um, do you know what? Yeah, all right, we'll do this for you. Deliver 60 of it. Okay, fine, fine, we'll do that. And yeah, their quests disappear because they are the same quest. So I imagine you can't have the same quest at the same time. There we go. There's another quest for us. Let's go and pick that up as well. Um, yep, yeah, Myrtle, I am listening. Having a, ah, having a hard time finding grape concentrate. Why, yes, I am. We could use some of that. Um, ah, here we go. Barrels and money. Yes, sounds like the start of a fruitful relationship. Oh, Penge covered you wag. Um, yeah, okay, that's very good. That could come in helpful. Anybody else? Oh, down here, down here, Plaza Lanes. They've got a mission for us. Oh, as have the snooker place. Okay, um, yeah, Ricardo, I'm, I'm listening. What would you like? Um, okay, enjoying the counterfeit beer. And we both know, but now I'm looking well to grow my business. Okay, do you need some assistance? Looking to open a second business out of town. You want some backroom beer and some sparkling cider. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> we might have to acquire that from other means, possibly. Um, that might be a quest that will sit in the list forever and ever and ever, because we might struggle with that one. Um, yeah, what about up here as well? 
Let's just grab some more missions whilst we're here. Um, yes. Um, yeah, people wanting homemade moonshine. Is there much of a demand for that, actually? Is there much of a demand for moonshine? One, two, three, four, five. Do you know what? There is a bit of a demand for moonshine. I'm very tempted to start going into that. The only thing is, we need neutral alcohol to make moonshine. And nowhere around here supplies that at all. So we've got loads of people that want the moonshine, but we've got no means of actually producing it ourselves, which is a bit of a problem. In fact, nowhere, <laughs> nowhere on the map we've discovered thus far is able... Oh, there we go. Right down there. Right down there. They can provide uh, the neutral alcohol. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a worthwhile business venture, if I'm being honest. One thing we do need to think about is expansion, because we have sort of been a little bit lax on that, I would say, of late. I mean, yeah, we did get some corners over here not too long ago, but we've been a bit slow at expanding. So I think we do need to we do need to consider some expansion plans at some point. It would be nice if we could get up to 30 corners, wouldn't it? A nice round 30 would be quite good. But yeah, I'm quite happy with how this is going right now. Everything is automated. We're kind of doing some stuff. I mean, okay, some of it's not quite as slick and brilliant as it could be, looking at you, bottled beer operation. But, you know, on the whole, things seem to be going sort of okay. So, yeah, expanding kind of, you know, it takes a bit of time and effort, and then we have to change the change the front delivery route thing to go and help out a new front or whatever. So, you know, it's not quite as straightforward as just going, yeah, we've got some more land or whatever, but I think we do need to actually look at it. Where is going to be the best place, though? I mean, I'm thinking, if we could get there... Oh, there's nothing on that corner. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we're going to struggle with that. We need to find a place where we can expand. Yeah, they hate us, don't they? Yeah, they hate us, because we might have killed one of their family members a little bit to death. Um, over here is going to be no good, because there's a sort of a crew just there. So if we were to buy... Uh, oh, there's nothing on that corner either. So that's that's nothing. That's not going to fly. Um, yeah, we do need to think about this. Maybe this is a job for next time. Hang on, there is a, there's an overlay, isn't there? Hang on a minute, hang on. Respect. Okay, so all these places like us. This is all good. And then everywhere else doesn't overly like us very much at all. I mean, that is part of our territory. If we get that, we could expand to there and there. Is there anybody on this particular corner? Um, those guys. Hang on, hang on. They could be our front, couldn't they? They're in our territory, so they don't need to be paid a big chunk of money. But hang on, we come down here. What if we get you? If we buy you, you can expand to there and there and presumably there. Let's do that. Hang on, and we've got favours with you. Okay, so the bread place. Joseph's Pastries. Oh, very nice. Um, Hang on, where are we? <laughs> where, where's Penge Cupboard? Penge Cupboard? Where, where are you? Show yourself. Oh, I don't quite know where I am anymore. Hang on. Are you down here? You are amidst this sort of gaggle here. Okay, so 95 money we've got. So we're going to need more than that, but let's go and find out how much we need. So, hello, how are you? Um, that would be nice. We want to expand. Okie doke. Yes, please. Right, ni 910. <laughs> That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Fortunately, we have got quite a lot of money on us, which is nice. Okay, so, uh, yep, we will go and grab a great big pile of money. Absolutely wonderful. And hang on a sec, where are we? There we are. Are we going to be able to get back? Yes, we are. Wonderful. Right, there we go. So we're going to go up to 28 corners. So that's pretty good going. So hello, click all that again. Yep, 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 yep. Right, $910, one favour, new corner. 28, very good. Your loyalty is going to be rewarded and... Do some expansion, please. Absolutely. Try and get that corner on board to get us up to 29. And they have a mission for us as well. Hello there, Joseph. Yes, I am absolutely listening. Uh, that bakery over there. Uh, you're a bakery. Okay, they've got their hands on some really good yeast, like the stuff that breweries and distilleries use before the stupid law. The kind that could allow you to speed up your booze production. My goodness, I'm certainly interested in this. Drop off some baseball bats and some money, and that might be a thing. Do you know what? Okay, why not? We're picking up missions. We might as well just grab that one as well. And with that done, I think we will finish things up for now. I think we're in a good place to sort of end things for the moment. We are looking pretty good in terms of missions. I mean, it does keep Penge Cupboard busy next time. Whilst everybody else is driving around the place and helping out the fronts and delivering goods and picking things up, Penge Cupboard can actually get on with some of this stuff. So hopefully that will keep him busy. We'll expand down here a little bit. And I have noticed that there are a few people around the place 
that are interested in a business expansion, which could be quite useful to us. So we could get something else constructed. We could possibly, if we get another building, turn this building here, so turn Peter's American Meats and Cheeses into a proper warehouse, like a storage building, but yeah, built for purpose rather than a storage room at the minute where we just chuck everything in, we open the door and lob things in, we can actually make it into a proper warehouse type thing. And it's sort of in the middle as well. It's kind of central, which is quite useful. So we might do that and then use our other building to make alcohol of some exciting type. I don't know, vodka or something. I don't know. We shall have a look and see what we can actually get our hands on in terms of different types of booze and stuff. But yes, we shall have a look at all this kind of stuff next time out. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be very, very lovely indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in City of Gangsters. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. I just want to point out the danger of blasting fire into the face of somebody who has not got any kind of headgear on. Let's suppress the pants off that thing. I always knew hiding on a park bench would be no good. Oh no, it's a terrifying disc thing. The aliens shoot him with such force <laughs> that he loses his hair, which is just ridiculous. <laughs>